Hi, welcome to the first video. Just wanted to show you guys how to set up GSA, set up the CAPTCHAs, set up the proxies, and I just wanted to show you another cool method in case you haven't seen it before. Um, you can go to fiverr.com and have this guy here, Monday Blue, to set up 35 Web 2.0 properties for five bucks. So it's an option, you know, you can do that if you want. And then all you have to do is get the logins for those when he sends them to you. Save them all in a text. Um, you can go back and change things on these sites if you want to optimize certain ones for certain keywords or a group of them. Uh, and then you just use GSA to backlink it. It's as easy as that. We added a new page to our site here right down here at the very last tab, SEO Tools VPS, they're admin VPSs with full admin rights, you can reboot, update, you have full control of these things. We added some applications here, uh, there's not very many, but it will help you, especially if you have your own GSA license. And I know I've said it before, but you can get GSA for a one-time fee of $100. You don't have to get Capture Breaker right away, it's because we offer some capture services on here and that'll get you about 60% solved. Just those two. Um, sometimes Mega OCR will do better than that, but you're looking at about 60. If you have Capture Breaker as well, with these two, with Spam Villa and Mega OCR, you're looking at 90%. Other tools, like Sanook, uh, you're going to get about a 60% success. If you use proxies, you'll get a between 70 and 90 percent. It just all depends on how you set it up and that's what I'm going to show you how I do. Uh, with this video here we're just going to stick with GSA though and I'm going to do the niche dog training. So if you don't have any keywords yet the easiest thing to do is come over here to Google Keyword Ad Planner. Now most of the stuff you can do right in Rank Tracker and I'm going to do that in a separate video because I have to make these videos smaller in order to upload them to uh, YouTube. So get your main keyword, make it a broad keyword, and come, come over here to uh, Google AdWords, click on Tools, look for Keyword Planner, click on that, and by default it's going to go to Ad Group Ideas, just click on Keyword Ideas. And since I already did that, it brought up a bunch of dog training related keywords. And what I do is I come over here to Competition and click on it so all the lows come up to the top and then I'll click on average mon monthly searches once and that'll bring a lot of the high searches up and mix it in with the low competition up here and give me some good words to go for. So now we're just going to find some keywords related to our niche. Click here to add them over here to our list. We want to try and get as many of the low ones as we can. We want the highest searches with the lowest competition. Like some of them are just obvious that you have to get. Okay, now you got the gist of it. I've only got a few here, but you want to get at least 10 of them, and we'll make that list bigger later. Uh, what's good about this is you can just click on this little key, uh, clipboard right there. This will pop up, and you can copy them all to your clipboard. So now we're going to start our GSA campaign. I believe I did add them already. Yeah, I did. I already added a whole bunch here, so... I'm just going to take them right from here. Uh, the site that I'm using, let me see here, I'm just going to grab it. The site I'm using is indogswetrust.ca. So let's click on new. Now if you're doing your first tier and you're not doing your first tier manually or writing them uh, 
100% unique content, then what I like to do is use serengines.com. You can get the API key for 14 bucks a month. It's really worth it. It works really well. Once you get it going, there's just lots of good sites in it and you get really good results. So for my first tier, all I do is articles, web 2.0, and the built-in web 2.0 sites that come with serengines.com and they update them constantly they add more all the time and it's just really good so it's worth paying the 14 bucks a month to have working web 2.0 sites because they are very important so that's basically all I use for my first tier let's add our domain Let's put our keywords in. Now this first spot where you put the key keywords, it we're not using these to rank. We're just giving GSA a bunch of words to search for sites because um, GSA uses two different ways. It uses footprints uh, with your site lists and it uses keywords. And in a, one of the next videos I'm, we're going to do footprints and how to take the site lists out of GSA, put them into a footprint editor and use that to put into hreffer and find more sites. Because on each of our servers in all of the desktops we have the tool hreffer and it is a very good tool it's a six hundred dollar tool it actually comes in the package with xremer and what we did was over the past years um, as we took as we licensed xremer on certain servers and took it off we left hreffer there so it's a very good tool to have it's very expensive and it works really well and we'll go over all that in one of the next videos so let's put our anchor text in here. These are the ones that are going to be highlighted. They're going to be hyperlinked in your articles. And this is what's going to help you rank for these keywords. So these are very important what you put here. I always select the option to use different variations with uppercase, lowercase. It just helps it look natural. You can test all these things here. They work really well. Um, I just, for the sake of this video, I'm just going to do the upper, lower, upper and lower case variations. You can put your branding, like your site brand in there. Um, like all these things are going to help. Anything that will help make it look natural will work really well. Just put your site name or, you know. So for our first tier, we don't have a whole lot of options in our data tab. So normally I would use Wicked Article Creator to fill in everything. Like if you click on all these modules here, it'll bring up some more boxes for data entry. And Wicked Article Creator will fill in every single one of these. Just about anyways, except for the documents and... The videos. Maybe uh, I think that's it. So for since we're only doing our first tier, I'm just going to make titles with Wicked Article Creator. Just take up the title builder, we'll put dog training. And there we go. Let's spin them together. Highlight them. Copy them. And let's do that again for our other title. OK. 
Okay. So for category, let's make sure that we get as close as we can. I think there is actually one in here for your dog training. Okay, so let's put home and family pets. Um, you can check off anything that you think is semi-related. So I'm going to pick hobbies, home improvement. You can put parenting, pets. And I'm going to add a couple more here. Education. News. And, and that's good. Uh, education and news are popular ones. I find that we'll get you some more sites and they fit into what we're doing here anyways. For the blog tagline, I've been trying just putting in my anchor text in there. So it'll just stick your keyword underneath, right, under, right underneath the title on some blogs. It'll just help with your keyword optimization. Doo -doo -doo. All right, and for the blog about, if you want to write yourself up a great big um, about a blog about section for your niche, you obviously can do that. And if you're sticking in the same niche for a long time or doing a lot of work in that niche, that would be a good idea to do that. What I do is if I'm if I'm doing SEO uh, and a whole bunch of different niches, niches I just use what the built-in about me in Wicked Article Creator. Okay, so I use Article Builder, but all I do is I put one article in it. One article um, for each line, and I'll show you what I mean here. I'm not going to spin it. I want my first here to look 100% readable. I don't want it to look like it's spun or doesn't make any sense. And Article Builder isn't the most horrible, unique percentage. And since we're building links to our first tier and ranking it, all that link juice goes towards those. And also, they're Web 2.0 sites, so they're already authority sites. They're going to rank very well anyway. So the second and third tier that you build to it is just going to make it skyrocket in the search engines anyways. So this is the way I do it and it does help. If you're going to do your first tier in GSA, this is the way to go. Make sure you click on do not submit same article more than one time. And it will explain this here that it only selects one line here no matter how many times you've spun it. I usually just select just link an article so it's always in a different spot. And I also use try to use search engines to find related links and it just puts random links um, throughout your article. And the good thing, in the last few updates they've added these options here that you can put your own images and your own videos in there and I've been doing that and it does work really well. Uh, I've been taking some of my YouTube videos and putting them in, in uh, throughout my articles and I checked my view stats in YouTube and it was much, much higher. So it does work. Uh, so the emails, I'm going to grab some of those. When you get your desktop, I, I'll have a file with emails that we give you. We give you about 10 to 20 free emails or Outlook accounts 
and we also put the link of where we buy them and there's a link to convert them to GSA format as well. Make sure you delete that first one because it's usually not set right and it's just there by default so I'll just throw a few in there. If I'm doing a big project I'll put anywhere from 10 to 50 emails in there and when I do that I usually put about 200 to, to 400 articles in here when I know I'm going to be doing a really really big project and I want to set it up to go for a couple weeks I'll really load it up with articles and emails uh, since we're doing our first tier we're just going to keep everything small another thing I wanted to point out was make sure that you have this selected here time to wait between two logins and you want to have that set to 900 seconds for Outlook and Hotmails uh, it used to be that that didn't really matter but uh, now these email providers are trying to fight spam and they're deleting accounts. Okay, so let's just take a look and make sure we have everything. I didn't go through the options. I just turned this off so it doesn't ask me to put CAPTCHA info in. I just let the tools do solve what they can and it usually does a really good job. Reverify. We're going to use the indexer services. We're not going to use any character spinning. It's our first tier. We don't want it to look like crap. We're not going to use any typos. We're not going to use place a URL and anchor text and description comments. We will try to post if it did fail before. We'll use site lists. If it's your first project, you're probably not going to have very big site, li site lists but it's good practice to leave these enabled and what that does is every time that you GSA finds a site submits or verifies in your project it will save that URL for your next project so it can easily find the site so it's good to have those analyze and post to competitors backlinks I find that this option right here is very good if you're just starting out because it's going to take your keywords and it's going to search the search engines for sites and then it will look on those sites to find forms to fill out. So this is a good, very good option if you're just starting your first project. All these other options down here are not, I'm not going to play with them at all. Um, with the SER engines modules they have sites that are built into them so I just leave all of this for the next projects. I find that if I do put this up, the page rank, it's not going to get me very many sites at all. Um, it's just good not to touch any of this for your first tier, so just leave that. So I'm going to click start, and let's go over some proxy options and our CAPTCHA options while that's running. So the first thing that you want to do when you come in here for the first time to set up your proxies is grab your proxies are the ones that we give you. If you have one of our desktops, you're going to have a list of proxies. Come in here and add it. At, now we're going to go into here, automatically search for new proxies, set that to 60 minutes. Automatically disable proxies when detected to be down, yes automatically disable private proxies yes and leave all of these options selected as well we want them to be anonymous retest yes check if anonymous yes remove a non anonymous yes and remove bad proxies when older than leave this at the default I played around with this and I put it down to 200 minutes and it just doesn't work as good if you just leave it here at 7500 it's fine just leave it like that so just go by my settings here and test that out and you'll notice that it'll work fine. If you put the minutes down anywhere below an hour, you're going to find that it's not quite done doing the first testing or the testing on the last cycle and then it's it, once that happens and it's not done doing a test from before and it's trying to start again, then it, it just 
makes a mess and it stops working, you'll find that your proxies are not searching and you'll run out of proxies quick. So make sure this is an hour or up. I just select every single one of them, check all, and that way you're never running out of any proxies. If you only check a few of them, then you're going to find that those sources go dry pretty quick. And that's it for proxies. Let's go to our captures. So you want to do GSA capture breaker first. Set that to three retries. Spam Vela. Put in the information from the readme file. It's three retries. And you want to put your paid service last. Mega OCR is in the wrong spot. Set everything to three retries. JSA, Mega OCR, Spam Villa, put your paid service at the very last one. That's going to save you the most money. And you'll find that sometimes, um, or most times actually, it won't even make it down to your paid service unless it's a really, really hard one. And if you have your Ask Me Bot key, it's $14.99. Put that in here if you have it. It's worth it. Uh, there's lots of sites that have text questions for CAPTCHAs. So just make sure you have these settings here. Three retries for every one of them. And all of these options are explained in all of the readme files on your desktops. So I'm going to let that set and let my first tier URLs get made up here. So here's an example of one of my first tier sites that I made with GSA. Having a dog can be one of the great joys in life but when they aren't acting the way you want them to, they can also be the most frustrating. Don't lose heart. They are some, there are some effective ways to get your dog to behave. Here are some good ways to start training your dog. So as you can see here, it makes 100% sense. Uh, it, it's readable. It doesn't look like crap. And this is what you want it to look like, okay? And there's the random links that GSA puts in that we selected and all it does is makes a link to a random site with some information. It just makes it look natural. But as you can see here, the image isn't really related. So that's why in your project right here, you can put your own images right here and paste them in there and that will make everything on your page related to your niche. So GSA can do a very very good job at posting any tier you want it to. Here's another one that GSA made for my first tier. Do you want your dog to sit, stay, shake or stop using your expensive oriental rug to hide his little gifts. Read through this article to find tips that will help you accomplish those things you are having issues with. You may even teach him to clean up those accidents he did not mean to have. So this is very good content. I really like Article Builder. You can of course use anything that you want. We have Content Machine, we have Wicked Article Creator, and our Article Builder credits get refilled Every week, there's always going to be article builder credits. So that's setting up. That's the initial setup of your GSA campaign. Once you see this getting up to about 30 or 40 verified links, then you can just save them. Save them and then start backlinking them. Or just leave them in here. And then what you'll do is you'll create another project and for your second tier, click on Use Verified URLs of another project. And then we'll click on the one that we just did. So all the links that you make in this one are going to be the second tier of or point at that first one there. So we'll be clicking more modules this time. It doesn't really matter what modules you pick in this one because it's not going to hurt your site, your money site. For example, trackbacks. Google does not like trackbacks, and if you point those right at your money site, uh, you're going to notice your site bouncing around in rankings and being penalized left, right, and center. 
it's not good to do trackbacks to your site. And I noticed that people were saying that pingbacks are doing the same thing. I haven't personally tried it, but I'm not going to. So for your second tier, you can click almost every one of these modules. I've heard clients say that the exploit module works, and I've heard people say that it doesn't. It's more than welcome to test that out. Sometimes what I'll do is make bookmarking, make one just for bookmarking. So it would be kind of like how Sanook is set up. It'll just have one bookmarking module pointed on one direction toward your site, and then you'll make another tier. Uh, with just profiles pointing at your social bookmarking links. And the more natural that you can make it look, and the way I like to think of it is making a link maze, um, then you're going to rank a lot better. So if you have any questions about anything that you just saw, feel free to come on the chat box and ask me, or we now we have uh, full-time 24-7 support. Um, I got staff at night and I have staff during the day. So if there's anything that you need to ask us anytime, just come onto our website.